Hello, people. This is Loud Styles, and you just entered my world, Loudon's world. Konnichiwa! Today on Lounge World, I want to talk about something that I've wanted to talk about for some time, but was too lazy to do it. Now, I don't know if you can call this an old rant or whatever, but I'm going to bring it up. Cyberbullying. What brought this up, you ask? Well, I was at my school, and I saw a pamphlet about the issue of cyberbullying. Upon looking at this pamphlet... I was intrigued. Who would make a pamphlet about the dangers of cyberbullying? Upon looking at it, there was a TV in here. It came across a PS PSA on cyberbullying. Let me just say the following. If you get that easily offended over what someone says on the internet, then you really need to grow a pair and man up. Be a man. And if you think about it, cyber bullies or guys that cyber bully you are just a bunch of insecure, self-centered douchebags that have nothing else better to do but just to talk about somebody over the internet because they fear the repercussions that will happen if they do talk, say that to your face. They're just as much a bunch of cowards than the real bullies are in real life. Think about that for a minute. And, you know, I know a lot of people are going to be all like, But Loudon, people have killed themselves over cyberbullying. You really need to be sensitive about this subject. Well, I have this to actually tell you. We as Americans are lazy bastards, and we need a swift kick in the ass just so we can finally get the point. Because we've been because we have been sugarcoating things way too long about this and e anything that we do. So I'm just gonna say this: I highly doubt that every that the suicides that happen where people kill themselves over cyberbullying is because of cyberbullying. I think that's a load of shit. I think it's because of other reasons, things that happen in their real life that were never brought to light because they couldn't go to anybody to help them out. So they try to go to the internet, their escape from reality. Unfortunately, they come across a cyberbully who keeps on pestering them and pestering them and pestering them, so they just finally snap. Still, it's still kind of crazy that, you know, you want to kill yourself over a cyberbully. Which leads me to another thing that I would like to talk about. Suicides. Oh boy, I know I'm about to get some shit done for this, but, you know, hear me out. I think I have a right to talk about this, so here we go. <sighs> I honestly believe that anybody that kills themselves are taking the coward's way out. I'm sorry, but you know, that's how I look at it. If you kill yourself, then you know, you're taking a coward's way out, and that is a very cowardly thing to do. You could not, you know, handle all of the punches life gave you that you felt like you just had to give up. Don't you know that there are people out there that go through what you're going through, but worse? There are little kids in third world countries that sell their bodies just for help, just to help their mother and father or their, bro or their brothers. There are people out there that's gone through everything that you've gone through, but learn how to just roll with the punches and keep on going on. I'm a double-edged sword to this. While I believe that, you know, suicide is one of the most cowardly things to do and you couldn't, you know, handle all the crap that's happened to you in life because I just don't know, something inside your head just made you want to kill yourself. I also believe that all this shit just could have been avoided if somebody paid attention or just told somebody that this person was suicidal. You know, all this could have been avoided if somebody listened. And before I keep on with this, let me just say this. 
I have gone through some crazy crap in high school that would have made anybody want to kill themselves. I have I joined a football team because I liked football and just for people to get off my back. But yet that was like the wor one of the worst experiences I've ever had because I have been pantsed and humiliated before. I have had guys damn near drop me like a bad habit during practices. I've been pantsed in locker rooms and I've also had guys making fun of the size of my dick. So I have been humiliated, I have been bullied, I have physically, I have been mentally and physically hurt many times in high school, but yet I roll with the punches. There have been moments where I felt like I just wanted to end it all, not in the way of, you know, killing myself, but in the way of killing everybody else. But, I still roll with the punches and I didn't do that. You can too. But like I said about the whole, this shit could be avoided thing. This could be avoided for so many reasons. Because, for one, if the friend that was told this would just tell somebody, because this is how it always starts. It always starts with either the parents or the friend. The friend doesn't tell anybody because she, he, wants, he or she wants to be a good friend and don't tell anybody when they don't realize that you're just a be you're an even better friend if you tell somebody. And then if the kid kills himself, the parents always say things like, Oh, we didn't know. How in the hell did you not know that your kid was suicidal? Were you too wrapped up in your own bullshit life? Were you too wrapped up in that one particular job that you could not spend five seconds with your own damn kid and realize that he had a problem instead of just shoving him off somewhere because you say, Honey, Daddy's busy, or Mommy's busy. Sad. But then, you know, suicide notions. The notion of suicide and the problems of suicide always happens when, it, when it's too late. And they have to bring up how suicide is a very serious thing. You know, it is a very serious thing. But it could also be avoided if the parents listen. And if the parents even pay attention to their own kids and quit and just stop being so wound up in their own in their own life, in their own job. Then maybe if they just pay attention to their kids, maybe then they wouldn't go through all this crap. <sighs> I feel a lot better now. Anyway guys, that's it for me. I'm Loud Styles. I'm over. I'm out. And I am gone. Hope you all enjoyed the rant.